Welcome once again to this iMovie 09 series showing you how to use this powerful program that comes free on any new Mac that you buy. It's already pre-installed, iMovie 09 is. What I want to show you today is we, we played around a lot with how to create videos, how to edit them, but then you want to share them with somebody. iMovie's made that very easy. You go up to iMovie and you share it, hmm, with the share menu. Very obvious. And basically you just do uh, export movie. Now there's some advanced features that you can do using export with QuickTime if you want to. And that's where you can get to the advanced settings for those of you that do. You can also tie in directly to YouTube. If you have a YouTube account, it can upload right away for you that way. If you do that, for, in, for instance, if I go to YouTube, it'll ask me for my account and password so it can upload it. And it'll automatically choose whichever version you want because YouTube can handle high definition video now. You can actually choose HD and have a high def quality. So YouTube gives people a choice between standard quality or high def if they want. I'm going to click cancel because I'm not going to actually upload to my YouTube account. But I may want to export my movie. And a good standard to go, it follows right here. What device are you wanting to send it to? You want people to view it on a computer? Then all of these choices would work. If you want to send it for just a iPod, then the medium would be pretty good. If you want to choose like the iPhone, they say this one's a little bit better. But I've, that's basically for the mobile device. That's, that's like if you're trying to get it through a 3G network. Um, the Apple TV, the medium or large would be good because it would basically do uh, handle the high definition. Um, and the computer version, this is where you can get true high def there, at least at 720 pixels. You just basically choose one. I'm going to choose the medium. Uh, it's going to ask me where I want to put it. I'm going to say let's put it to the desktop and hit export. And it's going to export my video to the desktop. I'm going to click cancel because I really don't want to wait three minutes for that to happen. But what you will get is a video like the one I originally showed you, the little demo movie that I did. And so you'll get one like that that you can basically pop open and watch. Now I didn't create any chapter markers in my demo one, but if I did, you'd see those little four squares right there. And that's where people could choose the chapters that they wanted. The other way you might want to share your video is to go to iDVD. Along with iMovie, Apple gives you in the iLife suite, the iLife 09 suite, iDVD. Really easy to create your own DVDs. And it'll take a little while for it to prepare for iDVD. Once it does, it'll automatically launch the iDVD application for you. And then you can Now you can work on a project even if you don't have a DVD burner because you can save your project and then burn it somewhere else. I'm going to mute the volume there. I don't want to hear that. So basically I have a window here with my video. So basically this is the animation for this. So you can, so you can add in images like that. You can scroll down, pop in one here, say Okay. You get a different theme. You want a different photo in there. You could drag a whole other photo in there if you wanted. Let's drag this one in there for my other drop zone. There we go. And if you realize the effect that you get there, but basically the, the words come over the picture. Well, that's not a very good one to actually be able to see what you want to see, but you get the gist of, of what you're doing there when you add a photo. Let's go back to our like our pictures folder and add something. How about the flower picture? There we go. That looks a little bit better to say movie. Now you can edit the text in here. You just select it and you hit the uh, turn off the animation right there. You can click in there and you can select it and type in uh, click here to play. And you can decide I want to move that too. I can move that up here if I want. Excellent. Didn't mean to double. Didn't mean to do that. I just want to select it. I can change the font to Kalesa if I want. 
I can make it a larger font if I want, make it 48. And click off to the side, click on it and move it where I want. And again, if I wanted that picture back in there, just drag that back in, I accidentally deleted it. And you can turn on the animation again to see how it's going to look. Well, obviously I can't type because I typed in click with a KC instead of a CK. I'm not dyslexic, just can't type. <laughs> That's pretty straightforward. And you see, basically when you want to burn, you just click the little button down here to burn. And then it'll prompt you to insert a DVD and then burn your project. And then you can share it with people and you can burn a whole bunch of them. The first time you burn, it takes a little while because it's going to be encoding for the DVD. But once it's done all that encoding, it's really easy for it to actually burn multiple uh, discs after that. So you shouldn't have a problem. All right. Well, hopefully you've learned a little bit about iMovie 09, some of the cool things that you can do, as well as how you can then share it with your friends, colleagues, family, the world. With YouTube, it's with the world. <laughs> so be careful what you record. You never know. Thanks for watching. Uh, next video, I'm going to show you where you can get some of that free content that I got off of the web. Mm -hmm.